How's it going everybody? I'm Patrick Static. Welcome back to Maze. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic, fantastic day. Let me know how you guys day is going down in the comments. That's right, I wish you a fantastic, fantastic day. We're back here in Maze. Last time we uh we found a secret disc. We still have our English muffin. This game is I I'm I'm so excited to play this. It's so funny, it's so it's corny. Ha 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 ha. Oh god. Uh anyway. <laughs> We're here at the what is this? It's like the little barn, and I think we got we still have a little couple of uh, unfinished things at the house. But we're gonna explore this new area because, man, I am super excited to play this. I've been like, should I should I record more of it? I really want to record more of it. It's so much fun. It's so weird. It's so again corny. It's so dorky, and I love it so much. There's horseshoes, dude. Horseshoes. There's supposed to be horses here, or you're just playing the game horseshoes, which that's fun too. Woo! A book. Corner of the world, a book titled Corner of the World. Okay, hold up, I'm gonna read that. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several uh, chapters also discuss the color yellow. A few species are circled in red pen, while no, 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 appears in many places across the entire book in a blue pen. Okay, well, sounds like somebody was, I don't know, trying to look up different stuff about corn. I, guess. I don't know. Okay, so I've Last time we figured out if I press E on our items, we could figure out it'll give us clues kind of about the items that we're holding. Which I told that would have helped me immensely last time. What is this? Wait, is this is this the same one? No, it is not. There's something over here. Okay, I was gonna say, let's go right over yonder. But no, see this is what I love about this game, is that there's so much stuff to explore. Ooh, look at this big old tractor. Dude, hello. What's the propane tank why is that a thing I don't know maybe to I don't know why that's there actually maybe eh? I was gonna say use it maybe to make like uh, uh, what, what's it called like you know giant uh god I can't even think right now oh no I guess it would be you know it would drag along the sand you could just plant things in the, the, the I can't think of the words I can't I can't words right now that's totally fine what's up silo Okay, I'll probably think of it later, but regardless, let's go to the silo. Whoa, 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 what's over here? Power? Dude, that's like a zombies thing right there. A freaking little power thing. Like, dude, I gotta get to the power. Ooh, what's this? Hello? Padlock. English muff. Ooh, bobby pin! Ho, 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 ho! Because the bobby pin did say we can unlock things with it. Hello, hello? What's it? Uh, not what I was expecting, but okay. A pile of corn kernels. English mo Oh, we have to sweep this up! Or, no, we we clear- we couldn't have just moved it? Okay. Well, we got a needle nose- what? Needle nose pliers. Okay, you saw something in the sausage grinder that could be removed- <gasps> This is back of the house! You know this because you spent an uncomfortable amount of time trying to pull it out with your hands, making no- <laughs> It's true! I did- sp I, I spent un- a stupid amount of time trying to take whatever was in the freaking thing. A weather tattered blueprint. Okay, why did we build all of this? Though it's hard to make out, this blueprint looks like it's for the construction of a very large and very poorly planned facility with the farm situated on top of it. The facility itself actually set an architectural record for having the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm loving this game more and more. Old telescope. Oh, we just grabbed the telescope. Put it right in our pocket. Uh, manufactured about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the tops of low-hanging trees. Possibly because its lenses were put on backwards. <laughs> Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. Okay, so we have a telescope that was put together backwards. Which just, that doesn't make any sense. Well, nothing in this game is making sense so far, but that's alright. That is all right. Okay, so I want to go over here and just see what else is over yonder. Stop pressing Q. Never! I wonder if something happens if we do press Q a bunch. I want... What the hell? Is this one of the corn people? It looks like this corn was... Why is this corn just singled out among the everything else? These crop circles? A really weird thing of crop circle? Why is there a random toolbox? I'm still pressing Q. I, what the hell? Ow! Who is this unfortunate soul? Glove severed hand. We have. Oh my gosh, sir, why are you just in the field? Like. Oh god. Oh, you were shocked to death. You had a bit of shock treatment, I see. 
A very fashionable fedora. Okay, a very fashionable fedora worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head as you, you have not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name Fernando. Oh, exotic. And we have a char- oops. We have a charred name tag. No, charred name tag. It took you several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag, in fact, belongs to the dead person who was near. And that name- and that his name is Fernando. It says it right there, dude! It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and then five more minutes to realize you were trying to read the whole thing upside down. <laughs> the whole time. Okay, dude, this is what I love about the game. It just makes you feel stupid. I feel stupid a good 99% of the time. So this just makes me feel like at home. It makes me feel good. This is a glove severed hand. So the hand is still in the glove, I'm guessing. Okay, well I'm sorry, Fernando. I hope. Thank you, thank you for your hand and uh, and your your lovely. I'm guessing it was your telescope. Maybe not. I don't know why there was a telescope in the silo because the silo really didn't have any windows. All right, we have arrived at the house, and I am ready to get whatever the hell is stuck in this thing out. Shaboops! We have a warped, pulled warped key fob out of saucer ground. Not an ideal place for it. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Warped key fob. Okay, I know where this goes. This goes up in the attic. Because we were looking at the attic next to, uh, up to Jerry. Jerry is the king of this domain. Jerry, how you doing, buddy? You are still very, very scary, Jerry. Your textures haven't loaded in all the way. Okay, that's totally fine, though. So let's go ahead and put this... What is it? I, I don't know. We put it down. I don't know why we put it on the... On the oh, wait, can we mallet it? <gasps> we smashed it into... Why do we have to come all the way up here to smash it into a flat thing? We have a key fob now. What does the key fob go to? I don't know. I'm asking too many questions. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm, I'm going to ask way too many questions. And just no answers are ever going to get answered because I keep asking asking questions. It's Oh, wait. There was one thing I did want to check before we leave. I um, wanted to see. Okay, that did not open. That was one thing when I was editing the, the last time. I was like, wait, I didn't check the upstairs bat, uh, the bathroom to see if the thing opened. But it doesn't. That's okay. So we're gonna go run back to the door and put Fernando's hand onto the door. And then we gotta see what this key fob goes to. Alrighty, we have arrived at our big door. Now before we put it on, I wanna read the descriptions of these because I love the descriptions in this game so far. The glove, the gloved severed hand is a, a severed hand perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It could come in handy. Ha <laughs> ha! If you could give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get the glove off. The first pun was intended, but not the second. Wait, we have to get the hand off. Wait. Oh my god, we have to get the glove off? How the heck are we gonna do that? Key fob. Oh, huh? I didn't read it, son of a nugget! Oh god! Dang it! I hate myself for putting that in there like that. Son of a biscuit! I meant to read it and I... I didn't... English muffin. Can we... Can we... Oh, okay, so we gotta have to figure out how to get Fernando's hand out of the glove. Damn it! I forgot to read the thing. I'm sorry, guys. I am. I have brought all the disappointment. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so I came back to the house because there was one last thing that we did not do anything with, and that was the old sink. Ho ho! Oh my God, that's scary. Okay. Oh God. Loosen the glove from the severed hand. It's slightly disgusting. Once you manage to tear away from giving yourself an unending stream of high fives with the hand, <laughs> I would do that. Like, yeah. Good job, Bram! Good job, Bram! You may want to find actual use for it. It's not to start another round of high five. Damn it! Now let's just go high five everything. Just jack septic high everything. Oh my gosh. I would. Oh, Jack will hit me now. But dude. Okay, so that was the last thing that wasn't. That was still uncovered of what actually to do with it. I was wondering when we would get back to the sink. I'm like, what was the purpose of this? It put like the rancid corn oil in there, and it would make sense. We had to loosen it out like that, but that I don't think there's anything else on the map that we haven't been able to interact with that we've set up kind of a thing. So what we're gonna- uh, hi! Hi, corn! So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to here and throw this on here and see what's behind door number one! I'm excited! Oh, there was music there for a sec. <gasps> the hell was that? Ah! Behind you! Behind you! Hey! Oh. Hey! Eh? Hey! Hey! Oh, God! 
Hi. You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> <coughs> a doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer <laughs> this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm riddle president today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm. You're the president oh, today. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Was he president right, every time? No, I've actually been a clear on the <laughs> 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 An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. <laughs> I love this game so much. If so many, I think the answer was negative five. If I if my math is correct, I don't do math very well. But if oh, it's watch out for our brother down there, he's a bit odd. Oh great! I think the answer was negative five. If the if ten people got on and that was unexpected, I agree. Which one of us is Jim? Hi, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbrought. On food pellets, we overbought on food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow, Bob. Okay, Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment, moron. Cordially, Ted. Ooh, a button. Button. Ooh, what's this? I ate a step. <laughs> well, please tell me I can just boopity boppity boopity bop. Okay, this is fun. I like this. This. Is... Oh, wait, do I get to? Do I have the th Oh, I have the English muffin. Bam. <gasps> Yay! Yay! I'm yum, dum, 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 dum. I'm like a little hamster in a cage. Oh wait, does these change? No, they don't. Okay, cool. Up. Oh. Yeah! Oh, stale! The elevator begins to move. Okay, so we got to eat a bunch of pellets before <laughs> before it moved. That didn't make any sense. None of this game makes sense though. That's why I love it. Oh, so this guy is that guy! Hello, you've got a bunch of post-its on you. Holy crap, this is all laggy and nothing's loading in yet. My god, Bob! What is this? Did you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? <laughs> so this is Bob! Okay, it'll cost us a fortune! You narcissistic dolt! Cordially, Ted. Okay, so the pink ones are from Bob, the blue ones are from Ted. Hi, Ted, don't worry, I got a good deal on it! Commission these statues in bulk! Don't worry about it! I got them in a big, big Costco's! I think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big moneymaker for us. Okay, Bob! You are so, so very stupid! What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't host any tours, you moron! And don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse! <laughs> Repeat, classified! Put it away, idiot! No, we didn't! He, he commissioned somebody to do a, a lovely, um, wooden one, Ted. And then that fell on it. Oh, can, what? Oh, we can interact with this. What are we gonna have to come? Can I? I can't English muffin it. Okay, who's it? Is this Ted? <gasps> Ted! Uh, okay, so he's the co founder. And this is Bob. Bob P. McTavish, PhD, M. A. B. C. Oh my god. Co founder. Bob, you amazing man. Ted. You're kind of a negative man. You had your face on the Mona Lisa. You're the Ted Elisa. Th that almost. Oh, what the hell was that? That looked like a Grimer. Grimer, come back! Could have been a muck. What are you mucking about? God, all the puns. Vat room. Okay. Well then, I'm loving this so far. It's kind of blurry for some reason though. I want to figure out what else we can interact with. I love this so much. What did that do? Ooh. An extremely obvious fake panel. <laughs> it literally said that. Okay, well then, uh Hello. They've got a nice gym down here. So this is the this is the facility that we were talking about over here on this tattered blueprint is the, the, the really stupid facility that they built on top of a farm. So that's ooh, what is this? A sweaty headband! Cool! A sweaty head. Oh, we can't go through here yet. Okay, so we have to. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I thought it. Okay, non. Not what? Okay, we got a rock. A non script rock. 
run-of-the-mill rock with no defining features whatsoever to discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name is Mabel. <laughs> okay, we have a rock named Mabel. Don't worry about it. Alright, what's this? Okay. A triumphant test report! The only way this report could uh, sound more triumphant is if trumpets were bled every time it was read. Explain some very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks, a breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence, as we saw up above. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> it also glosses over the fact that the specimen is somehow female, which was apparently impossible in the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. Okay. I love how this game makes no sense. And that's, that's probably why I love it so much. It's so freaking random. I love random, weird, dumb things that don't make any sense. <gasps> Woo! It's so shiny! <laughs> Be ready for a great year. I'm such a kid. Oh my god. Oh! What do the blocks say? Hidden codes. Hidden codes. This is where the devs always put hidden codes. Or not. Could be. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Ooh! My children's block. <gasps> You're the little teddy bear! Oh my god, we got a teddy bear! Okay, so this was the teddy bear that I saw in the uh, in the trailer. Look at that corn. He's checking us out, man. Following directions. Yes! Yes, give me a big happy face. <gasps> There's a three-leaf clover. Why isn't it a four-leaf clover? Okay, let's go on down the hallway. Come on, teddy. What are we gonna name our teddy? What are we gonna name him? Let's call him Philip. I like the name Philip. That's a cool name. Philip. What is this? <gasps> ah! Teddy! Can we put a sweatband? Dang it, we can't put a sweatband. So we have to build him. We have the technology. Okay, hold up. A guidebook of corn. Oh, we can't read. It's his guidebook. A uh, tour guidebook. It appears. <laughs> Bob went ahead. I'm guessing Bob wrote this. Or ordered it or whatever. It appears to be an, uh, it appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant vats and mostly repeat the ref uh, mostly repeat the refrain that the vats are very large and contains things that should stay in very large vats. Oh my god. Okay, well, the Grippotron. Ba boom. Oh wait, wait, wait. There we go. Okay. So we got like a weird big backpack look at that. I don't know what the hell that is. But we got Oh, what is that? What is that? Is that a power strip? You turn on the power strip. Ah. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer and screwing around with my AI experiments, idiot. Cordless tech. I love how he just ends it. Cordless tech. Okay. Well. Oh! An old computer. Bob, you discuss his love. Don't you know how to read? Stop eating in here. Glutton. Please no food or drinks, Bob. Bob, why? Can we put that there? That, that looks like where this can go. Oh, wait, I gotta put it over here. I'm such an idiot. Boops. Place an old computer on the desk. Why can't I? We're gonna do things. We're gonna do the things. Dang it, I can't do the things. Well, I put it there. I turned that on. Why can't I computer game? Oh, 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 oh. hold on. We got Hyatt Ted, the latest brochure came back from the press. Take a look. I think it'll really boost the tour, and you'll be you'll be happy to know the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. Bob, first you are an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no toss. Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads, remember? As in same title, jerk. Um. Hi, Ted. I'm really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure that the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. Good God, Bob. Do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top-secret facility. Where did you send that, those brochures, you moron? Okay. I might be getting way into this reading thing, but it's it's fun. Okay. Oh. Hello, corn people. What What's going on, my friends? Oh, my God. I'm guessing Bob had this commissioned. <laughs> uh, hi, it's that noise that you took down the paint in the lobby. Thanks! It had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though. Here's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you please? Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you self-indulgent loose. For God's sake, how many did you order? And why is my face on the stupid horse? Because it's amazing, Ted. It's amazing. 
You frick, you're being a negative Nancy. You need to be a positive Patrick or a... Let us pose another query. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm, interesting conundrum. What yes. kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I'll have it. It does make a sound, but since it's a tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct! <laughs> well done. <laughs> so they just answered one of the biggest old, like, dorky questions that we've ever had in our whole world. I have heard that since I was a kid, and they said the tree is so dumb it couldn't hear itself or whatever. Oh my god. Alright, what does this say? The schedule outlining the work shifts of the entire facility staff, most notable are the shifts for the two founders. They are completely opposite of each other. <laughs> okay, hello. Can I talk to you? Do you want an English muffin? They're good and yummy, I promise. I've been carrying it around all day with me. Okay, well, I'm guessing Bob has been this way. Oh my god. It is a golden toilet. <laughs> a Sketcher 3000? <gasps> oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, look at this! Holy crap, this is where Bob and... So this is obviously Bob's, obviously Ted's. Okay, Bob, I don't know how you managed to copy my bathroom key. <laughs> but good god, how many cheaper do you have, you slob? Oh my god, this is awesome. Oh, we got a thing. An invoice for an opulent bathroom. The invoice for... I'm not paying for this, it says. But it says the invoice for this incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for the marble steps leading up to two extravagant toilets and a sink encrusted with gold. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Ted left it on Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed uh, statement on the financial Okay, well, it looks like Bob I don't know how much money these two gentlemen had But Bob has already spent hundreds of thousands of the bathroom and the tens of thousands I think on the tree thing that they did Oh, this has so the other one has to be Ted's office. This one is obviously Bob's Bob, you disgust yourself until you've cleaned after yourself. I'm blocking your entrance into the bathroom. <laughs> I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week, moron. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! A military backpack. Okay. This might be everything we need. Hello. Oh, a small screwdriver. Cool. Okay. And sugar bagels. Dude, that if that was an actual cereal, I might eat it. Because that sounds really good. This guy got a lot of those paintings. I, I'm not gonna lie. I want one of those paintings of Bob and Ted. Not, I, I just do. All right, back to our teddy bear. Can we place this now? Okay, that's not that. Military backpack, hoo Can this go? That's not that. Okay, well, small screwdriver? What do we do with the computer? It says something. I can't read it though. Uh, it's got 27k RAM system and 12 basic set. It's ready, so I gotta. Wait, wait, I don't. I I shouldn't have anything in my hand. There. Dang it! Okay, I thought that would have worked. All right, well, there's only one place that we haven't been to yet. It's over here to the right. So let's go. And, ooh, what is that? That's a lovely, ro a cheap jumpsuit. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Ted, Ted, excited news! I got a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility. I got thousands and bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used the savings for some great stuff. Bob! You idiot! You got a good deal on them because they are completely useless. Nobody can wear them. That's not true. Now, Ted is just such a negative Nancy, man. Who wouldn't wear this lovely cheap jumpsuit? Right? Come on. Oh, can we throw it on here? Oh, we just grabbed the coat rack. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, what does he say? Reserve power mode activate. Okay. Ooh, ooh, we got a letter. Oh, and it's a pizza. A warfare uh, readiness report. It appears to be a report on the warf warfare readiness of the subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn had no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm and a habit of taking naps right in the middle of a test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document. A running theme on many reports involving the corn. So it seems like this is a military type of like, a military type of place and they were trying to grow corn to use in war? Is that what I've, is that what we have deduced? 
Oh, wait, hold on. Before, I know I know we're getting to the end of the end of our time here. I'm going a little bit longer than usual just because I'm having so much fun. But we gotta go to the obvious complete fake thing, fake panel, and reveal. Oh, Bob's hidden some stuff. Hi, Ted! Just heads up, I put your RAM right here. This way, this way it gets less dusty. Why did you put the circuit of RAM in there? Oh my gosh. All right, well, I wanted to read what a lot of this stuff said, so let's go ahead and read the Etch-A-Sketch. Uh, actually, let's read the circuit board. Look at all this RAM! It has to be at least six, maybe seven bytes of RAM. You may fig you figure that the most bytes any bit of uh, RAM ever, and it search for a computer upgrade with. Wait, wait, hold on. You figure that that's the most bytes in any bit of RAM ever, and search for a computer upgrade it with. Knowing not the slightest idea how to do so properly. Okay, well, I... Uh, oh, that doesn't make sense. Whoops! Well, you just... That's not how RAM works! <laughs> you don't just shove it into the keyboard! <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> okay. Well then, just... Kunk. That works! Oh, we got Teddy! Oh. Hi. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladis' face? Vladis? Why you not talk? Do I... you understand? Yes. Understand what uh, Vladi is Vladi. saying. Yes. <sighs> I understand. So You're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? Yes, yes. <sighs> kind of, Fine. yes. Vladi, help. <sighs> we got a teddy bear friend! Oh. Why can I so many? Huh? Huh? What is this on Vladi's back? It's a little picture. This makes no sense. When has this All game made this sense? This is very stupid. Yes, I agree. <sighs> so, where do we go? Yeah, we have a teddy bear friend. His name is Vladi. Oh my God, you are so cute! Oh my God! Somebody send me ten of these. I need them. I need them now. Oh, <gasps> holy crap! We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god, what is that? What is... what is Plant saying? Is that a... It is... It's a helicopter! What? Da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, 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 Chitania Vesolo! <laughs> a rude contraption. <laughs> what if you're just gonna be <coughs> like that? <laughs> what did he Right. We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very oh. important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. Vladi does not like it here. A new path is open. You should probably go find it. All right, before we go, I want to read everything. Oh my god, you're so cute! Okay, good for hanging coats unless it is placed upside down, in which case it's not effective at all. That's true. Okay, jumpsuit. Uh, made out of material that looks like it will fall apart at the mere thought of a gentle breeze. <laughs> this, ju this jumpsuit should not be worn by anyone. Okay, that, that had to be... Oh, it's got Michelle on it. Or Mitchell, one of those. Uh, the Sketcher 3000, a major improvement over the Sketcher 2000, as it features the ability to actually draw lines instead of instructing children to stare at the screen and imagine the drawing in their minds. The f <laughs> you feel like using it to draw a large face, face owning to your fascination with foreheads. I have a fascination of foreheads? Cool, okay. Sweaty headband, let's go on foreheads! This sweaty headband imbues the wearer with the ability to walk at slightly brisker pace than normal for short periods of time. It's not worth the risk. I agree. All right, guys. Well, we have Vladdy. He's so adorable. Okay, and and now we're inside the Fossilitai. So next time, which I, it might be sooner than you guys think. Vladdy, are you coming? Oh my God, Vladdy, you were so freaking adorable. So I I might be playing more of this because it's just so freaking silly and fun. And I love it. But I hope you guys are too. Let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking about this. <sighs> Everybody liked the video for Vladdy. Anyway, I love you guys' faces. I'll see you guys all next time for some more Maze. See you guys then!